Hello everyone, welcome back. I just want to first apologize to everyone who is following and actually trying to keep track of my videos. I did not upload a video last week and that's because I moved. So it took a lot of effort, but here I am. The background's a little bit differently. The audio quality in here is not the best, so I hope to figure that out. The background will be a little bit more interesting. So just bear with me. Uh, this week's video is going to be the uh, requested taking the tarantula out of the old enclosure and putting it into the new one. So if you watched my video last week, it was about building the enclosure that you will be putting your tarantula into. This one's going to be about taking the tarantula out. So here we go. Okay, as you can see here, the enclosure is a bit of a mess. It's hard to see in and there's debris everywhere. So I'm gonna be rehousing her and I made the new uh, enclosure for her. You can see the video here. The steps you gotta take is be really careful and be very patient. Get a catch cup, it can be anything. I'm using this clear um, container I got from Target. And I'm gonna be taking this paintbrush and softly tapping her little abdomen. And just be careful not to make her too angry. Oh, she'll do that, she'll kick hairs. So this tarantula kicks hairs in self-defense. It's okay, just be really careful and try to do it safely as possible. Again, the key here is patience. So please take your time, be gentle, and make sure that you're treating your spider with respect. It's probably scared. So just tap it, tap its legs, tap its abdomen, tap any, anywhere you need to tap just to make it go in that direction. And be very, very careful. Again, I can never stress that enough. And just be patient. Here it's taking quite a bit. This method is gonna be used for most tarantulas, from possorial all the way to arboreal. Right? And I promise you it's going to get easier with time. Just make sure you have a lot of patience and make sure that you have that catch cup handy. Uh, your spider can bolt, so just be prepared for that. Um, if you can do it on the floor, that's even better. Uh, so that way if it does fall, it won't injure itself. And that paintbrush is super important. Just make sure that you're not hitting it too hard and you're just gonna tap it in the right direction. Make sure you have a water dish in your enclosure and your, your tarantula is gonna settle in really nicely. It might take a few days all the way to a few weeks, sometimes months. It all depends on your spider and his personality. so much to those who have subscribed, liked, and comment from everywhere from here on YouTube all the way up through Instagram. Uh, if you haven't followed me on Instagram yet, it's at spiderguyinfo. Uh, there I'll be posting pictures and videos and previews of these videos. So if you like Instagram more than YouTube, this is a, a good, good place to start. I also started a Facebook group called Tarantulas for Dummies. It's for people who are scared to ask questions on the big Facebook groups because Sometimes, man, those can get toxic. So I'm trying to create a, uh, a good space for those who are beginning uh, and trying to uh, learn with others. So it's a perfect place for you. And I finally broke 200 subscribers on YouTube. I mean, it's not a lot, but it's a great start and it's only gonna go up from there. So thank you so much. And if you haven't yet, please subscribe and like and comment because that's the way I'll be able to interact with you and build. So. Again, thank you so much for watching and uh, please suggest videos for, for future videos. Uh, I, I have one coming up, probably the top five things I've learned so far, the top five tools I use. So if any of those sound good, please just let me know down in the comments. And again, I appreciate you so, so much. Thank you. Have a good day.